Hey everybody in here, it is freezing cold, I got the hat on, I got the pink hoodie on, and uh, well, I think that it got really, really frozen last night, so I have to go look at my plants, um, I'm really worried, to be honest with you. Well, I can almost assure you that these plants are damaged. Yeah, that's the basil. It is really, really dark in color. I don't know if they're going to bounce back. The chives look okay. The cilantro, oh, my back is killing me. Cilantro looks okay. Oh, the peppermint, I'm not bending down. The peppermint and the oregano looks okay. There was nothing in here. This little sprout wing, huh? surprisingly looks okay. That little sprout wing looks okay. Um, Let's, let's get around these solar panels. I'm having a tough time moving around today. Look at these tomatoes. Well, they look, I don't know. They're a darker color. I'm not sure. These ones look a little bit better, actually. They look a little bit like they, they used to. Let's look at this. Oh, my goodness, the beans. Hang on. This tomato looks like a, it's a little bit darker in color, so I don't know. Look at these beans. Look at how wilted they are. <sighs> yup. You can tell. I don't know. Same with the cucumbers. They're all wilty, too. I don't know if this is permanent. Um, it's thawing out now. It did get down to freezing. It didn't stay frozen for very long. Maybe a couple of hours, I'm not sure. But lettuce looks fine. It does pretty well in cold weather. Spinach, nothing new there. So really, my main concern is my beans. I don't know. I don't know. I've got more basil seeds. I can always plant more basil. I don't know. Hopefully it'll warm up and hopefully they'll perk up. We're just going to have to see how the day goes, I guess. And before any of you say, you should have covered your plants. Well, I know. I had the stuff to cover them with. I've just been so tired lately. I don't know what's been going on with me. I think it's this weird rainy weather and it bothers my joints <laughs> this morning i could barely move betty was like <laughs> she wants to get outside the door and i'm moving so slow so i just kind of fell asleep last night and um woke up and i was freezing cold freezing cold in the tiny house and uh i knew i knew and i, I just sat there awake for hours thinking i should have gone and covered up the plants but I'm just going to say a prayer that they're okay. I'm going to have my coffee and, uh, well, just get my day going. I'm moving slow right now, though. <laughs> you can tell, I bet. Instead of being depressed about my plants that are probably all going to die, I made some pickled eggs. And I used this big one-gallon jar. And there are, let's see, 18 plus 12 um, eggs in there minus one because I had to eat one <laughs> and some onions and these are different these are just turmeric pickled eggs it's just vinegar uh, apple cider vinegar water salt sugar turmeric onions oh I don't know some red pepper flakes and uh, yeah so I could actually probably fit another dozen eggs in there so I'm going to have plenty of eggs, and that just makes me very, very happy. I read that if you water the frost-damaged plants the next morning, or the next day, or whatever, um, that may help them because they get dehydrated. And, uh, well, I'm just going to try and water them and see if I can save them. If not, well, I'm just going to have to start all over. Oh, just look at these poor plants. They do not look good at all. Not at all. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to save these. Look at those cucumbers. They are just shriveling up. 
Well, I'm going to go ahead and water them and see if that helps. I think the only way these plants are going to make it is if these little, the little new growth survives. There's new growth on almost every plant. <sighs> Same with the cucumbers, but I don't know. I don't know. Cucumbers look terrible. And everything in this bed looks so, so beautiful. This tomato here, it's going to die. I just don't see that, that it's going to be able to bounce back. So I'll probably just pull that in a day or two and plant something else in there. And, um, well, I can tell you that the basil, the basil over here is just absolutely dead. Dead, dead, dead. <laughs> so, you know what? I'll just have to start over. So, I don't know. We'll come back and look at these tomorrow and see if anything looks green again. If it doesn't, I'm just going to pull it and plant something else there and just keep moving. Who are you barking at, girlfriend? Who are you barking at? What's she barking at? Oh, there's Diesel. <laughs> is that Diesel or is that... I don't know. It's one of the neighbor's dogs. They're very friendly dogs. And as you can see, Betty doesn't know how to make friends and influence people. You know what about the plants? Um, it's, it's not upsetting that I'm going to lose plants. That I'm going to have to replant, repurchase, do whatever. It's that I didn't do what I needed to do to keep my, as somebody in my comment section said, my green babies safe from harm. I was so tired yesterday. All I had to do is go take some of that tons of bubble wrap that I had, you know, maybe even cardboard, you know, just something, anything, and just put it over that those plants before the sun went down, and they would have been fine. But I was tired. I was exhausted, and I've been exhausted for days, and um, I didn't do it, so... You know, and I know there's people out there who are probably going, ha, 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 told you so. You shouldn't have planted. See, I, I'm smart that I didn't plant until whenever. You know, go ahead and have those mean-spirited thoughts if you, if you want to. I personally don't find any joy when people suffer a loss like I have. You know, and to me, that's a big loss. To many of you, it's no big deal. But to me, because I was so proud of those plants. But... You know what? That's okay. I'm going to bounce back. I'm going to plant more stuff and I'm going to be good. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Lucas is sh shooting across the street. You might hear him again in a second. Maybe not. But FedEx just came and dropped me off a Prezi. And I was kind of thinking I knew what this was, but I wasn't sure. So I'm going to show you what it is. Ordered me something from Walmart, and yes, I was expecting this. I was told I was going to get this, and it's a good thing because I was going to be buying... There he goes. Gotta love that, Mr. Lucas. These are um, easy find lids, 24-piece set, and let me just open these up. What does it have? Oh, it has three... Let me just try this later. Okay, I think he's done. Three of these little half cups, three of these 1.25 cups, um, two two cups, all the way up to one three cup, two five cup, <gasps> one seven cup. I don't believe it. I'm going to have to open this up. Oh, yeah. They're all in there. Here's the little ones, and these are so handy for spices and when I make my own tea and whatnot. And um, these are good to store, store extra things of soup in or whatever. And you can even eat out of them. And yes, indeed, where's that big one? What do I do with the big one? Oh, it's, I think it's this one on the bottom here. Oh, yep. And, um, and all these other different sizes and... I just really, really love this. I needed it bad. I did. I love storing things in these containers. And I really didn't have any. So, thank you, special person. You know who you are. I love them. In fact, I'm going to be cooking some stuff. And I'm going to put some stuff in it today. All right. And one last thing before I close this video out. I do want to thank the additional person who... I guess, I don't know if it was in the middle of the night. All I know is I woke up this morning 
and there was a little PayPal ding at the top of my phone and um, it said that I had received another donation. Now I haven't gotten permission to give this person's name so I'm just going to say thank you. I've already sent you an email thanking you personally. You brightened my day. <laughs> you definitely did after a kind of a sad day and it means the world to me. It really, <sighs> I don't know what to say. I mean I just, I look up to the heavens and I thank the Lord that I've got people who are liking this channel enough to like send me donations and stuff and watch the videos and like and comment and all that kind of stuff so it means a lot you guys and it puts a smile on my face and it just makes me wanna keep going because I don't know I really just kinda like make videos that I like you know stuff I like to do and that people like watching it it's just well, it's awesome. It's awesome. So that's all I got for you guys today. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.